In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Parallels Tools for Debian. You might have a different desktop to me. I have um, KDE Plasma, but you could have like, you know, Cinnamon or Mate or Gnome, but the process is going to be the same. So first of all, we're going to need to make a folder. And in order to do that, if you can't, if you don't have any options to to make a folder, go to this one at the bottom here, uh, Default Desktop Settings. Okay, and now in this layout across the top here, just click on there and go to this folder and then apply. Right, now, you can see I've already got some folders up here because I, I made this after making the video. Now you can see that there is uh, an option to make a folder. Okay, so you, you click on the folder and then you name the folder whatever you want. So that's how you would do it if you can't get the folder to show on your desktop. Name the folder Paratools. From the blue button on the toolbar, Select application and then search for terminal. If you're using KDE as I am, then you will find that it shows up as console spelled with a K. Now load the disk with Parallels Tools for Linux. I'm going to have to go to Devices. And then we go to uh, this, this one here, CD, DVD, one. Um, you're going to connect an image. We're going to need to connect an image. So we're going to click on this connect image. It's likely to open up into Macintosh. Or if not, you can, you can go to the Macintosh by selecting here on the uh, on the sidebar. You then go to applications. And I think I'm just going to change this. So it's easy to read. And now we're going to look for the parallels. Parallels Desktop App on there. Contents. We're going to go down to this one. Resources. And then we navigate down to here where it says Tools. <clears throat> now, we have a set of tar Parallels tools here. There's Parallels tools for other, there's Parallels tools for Windows, there's Parallels tools for Mac, and there's Parallels tools for Linux. This Lin is going to be Parallels tools for Linux. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on that. Now we're going to open this and well it's it's opened it twice open the folder you made at the start called para tools now i'm going to take a copy of all of these I'm going to put them into Parallels Tools. Hopefully. Paste. Okay, now, now, now it's all, all, all gone into our new folder. This is the CD 
or, or, or the image, the, the imaginary CD, if you like, the tools on. And we, we don't need that anymore. So uh, let's eject that. We've got uh, power tools on the desktop, which is where we want it. Don't worry if it's not showing up there. Um, it will show in your 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 desktop. Um, it will show in your desktop here, but for some reason it, it it's it's been disabled by default. So um, now we know where it is. So. I'm logged in as this user. The first thing we want to do is to switch the user. So we do SU. Now, this is the password that you used for root when you installed it. Okay, now you can see that I am uh, uh, logged in as root. Yeah. So if we do uh, ls, and we can see now um, the folders that we're, we that, that are available to us. <coughs> excuse me, in this directory, and we want desktop. So we do cd desktop, and how to list. Now you can see parallels tools, parallels tools there is here okay so um now we're going to change the permissions to what's in parallels tools and we're going to do that by doing change mod and we do it to 777 and it's the space Now this part's important, it's hyphen R. This hyphen capital R is going to um, apply these permissions to all of the subfolders within Parallels Tools or, or within this folder here, this folder, this one that's on the desktop, this one here has been shown up on the desktop. That's quite important. So um, those permissions are all going to be granted to us. This is going to give us complete permissions over this folder. So now we press return. And now we do list, uh, parallels tools. Uh, if I do CD then do list. Now I can see um, I, 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 I can see these which are, are in here. Now in, in some sometimes uh, uh, with different distros these get highlighted to indicate that something has changed but um, it, it, it's not happening in this one for some reason it, it doesn't do it. So now the permissions have been changed. Hopefully we should be able to install. So that's dot slash install. And hey presto, here we go. So here um, space, uh, to select and you, you can use tab to navigate between the options. So we want next. Right, you need to install these, these following components. This comes up quite a lot. Um, so when we do next, it will probably fail. And that means that what we have to do is update the system and then we'll try it again.
Right. Uh, okay. So it looks as though we've had no problems this time. Usually there's problems with installing headers, but um, it seems to have gone very smoothly. So congratulations, you have successfully completed the installation of Parallels Tools for Linux. Please restart your virtual mis machine. So um, let, let's go right ahead and do that and see what happens. And sure enough, it has installed correctly. Look at that. It, it, is, um, it is filling the whole screen. There are no black bars down the side there. Um, I, I wonder if I can check out, let's see, applications. If the keyboard is working correctly, then the... Um, the characters at the top like at and the uh, quotes should show up if they don't then you'll have to go into the settings and change the settings to the keyboard which I will show you next well ah I think this this might be it here so keyboard from the list select the keyboard which best describes your computer. So if you're using an Apple Mac, simply select the Apple Mac or Macintosh. Um, if you're using a different computer, then obviously choose a keyboard that, that fits that description. Now you have a fully working Debian on Parallels with the tools installed. If uh, you want to know how to change the desktop environments, I will do a video on that next. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if not, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.